I, I read about it. I signed the form. Um, I just thought it was, it was a risk I wasn't really prepared to take really, and just you know, just, it's a vitamin at the end of the day, and yeah, I was fine about her having it. Vitamin K is a fat soluble vitamin, um, common or garden vitamin. The reason we advise giving it to all newborn babies is because of a condition, again, that is quite rare, called hemorrhagic disease of the newborn, okay. but which can have okay. fatal consequences. And we know that if babies are given additional vitamin K at birth, then the incidence of that disease falls dramatically and is almost obliterated. You might just whimper a little bit, I'm okay. afraid. Sharp scratch, mate. I'm sorry. Oh no, darling, I'm sorry. It's particularly important for breastfed babies because there are additional vitamin K supplements in formula milk, formula feed. Well, the traditional method is always to give the baby an intramuscular injection at birth. And this is the route of administration which evidence would suggest protects the baby against hemorrhagic disease of the newborn. However, we also offer an oral preparation. Kai did have vitamin K. However, I was also very specific about this in my birth plan as well, that I did not want it administered um, via an in injection. Uh, I had to go to my GP and make sure that he asked for these drops that you can give. You have to give them, I think, at um, certain intervals. You give one the first week in the first week and then I think again at six weeks. Uh, my GP didn't know about it until I told him that it was available in drop form. We were told that there are some um, uh, cases of, uh, I think, leukaemia associated with vitamin K. That came out of uh, one particular study which appeared to suggest that those babies who'd received intramuscular vitamin K had an increased risk of leukaemia in childhood. However, upon further evaluation, that study was discredited and further work in this country and overseas has failed to find any association. We wanted Kai's entry into the world to be as delicate and as gentle and as smooth as possible. So although the birth was quite difficult, I think his transition um, into the wide awake world was quite smooth. When the new baby is born, you're so um, caught up with all the changes already. If you have to remember all vitamin K, I just thought it wouldn't really make um, a, much of a difference, if not a positive one. So yeah, yeah. I mean, she didn't even notice the injection. <laughs> oh, you can have something later. Yes. Yeah. But I think I'd still opt for the injection. It's quick and. It's all over and done with, then you know they've had it, and, and that's it, it's all out of the way. So, we believe it's safe to give intramuscular vitamin K. He's really focused on that. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm to check this out to see for the